we've had players pass up athletic scholarship money to play at the non-scholarship level. And you might ask yourself, why would anyone do that? Just last year, we had players pass up full rides, partial rides, uh, offers to play for national championship teams. And the reason why they're doing that is because they're looking for the right fit. You know, most transfers happen because people aren't looking for, the players aren't looking for the right fit. Uh, they're looking for the most money, they're looking for the most prestige, but they're not thinking about college and what is the right fit overall for me as a player, as a person, as an athlete. You know, I've had multiple coaches uh, say things to our players like, you don't want to go D3. Well, did you even ask the player what they want to get out of a college or are you just more concerned about what you want to look like as a coach, as a program? Like, is this for you or is this for them? So how do we get to the right fit? Well. Obviously the family's financial situation is a big part of that, but understand that academic money and athletic money are the exact same thing. So even financial aid is the, ex money is money. You know, I always get a kick out of people who I know are getting like $500 for books and they say, well, I got a D2 scholarship when a D3 kid got a $30,000 scholarship and is playing a lot less overall than the division two person. Um, but it's all about that prestige and that's where uh, you got to have a good inner circle that helps you find your fit. The other part to that is, uh, what does a player want? Size of school, rural, urban, what kind of major, what, what style of ball does the team play? What kind of coach uh, would they be playing for? Win-loss record, you know, the playing time is the same thing. Do you want to play more on a losing team or would you be okay with playing less on a winning team and a traditional winning program. The best way to find out, are players getting the right advice from whether there's coaches, their program, or their inner circle? Are they getting the right advice? Go back and check to see where those players went. Did they transfer? Did they play for losing programs? Did they even play? Like, did they get stats? And then even more so, as you look down the road, what are those players doing as people in the real world? And then you can really find out who's getting the best advice out there. It's important to have the right inner circle uh, to help you find your right fit and run your own race. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Find your fit.